what's up gamers uh, today we are playing my one of my favorite games with classic music you know while playing ga this game I only could hear the music see listen to the music it's so good so nice at time this game is called as double dragon uh, it's a fighting game um, with the uh, with the power up and as you increase and keep on playing the game levels again and again you get the chance of upgrading your skills and fighting them more and more well the gameplay is pretty good uh, the only thing I liked about this game is you can play double player and if you have two controllers it's beautiful it increases your uh, chance of winning more by adding in things like when you are when you are double players right it uh, gives you uh, three options one is psych up one is hi-fi and one more is something uh, which like takes the life from your opponent, I mean to your, from your friend to yourself. One is which splits up, which splits up your health and one is which gives you attack boost for like one minute or something into two. The fight is pretty linear here, it's like enemies are pretty decent, uh, girls look pretty. And uh, there are two fighting things, one is uh, X for uh, punches and Y for kicks. You need to alter between them and you have special power-ups which you can include in the menu uh, like there are some you can throw in fireballs you can throw super kicks and my favorite is one where you bring in the dragon I'll just show you later on how it works not now at least because I need more people right or else a bigger boss where fighting him I can use my dragon yeah you can use uh, objects you can pick up objects like whips knives swords And it has like 10 main levels and which have sub levels in them and uh, boss fights are there. I guess yeah, boss fights, two boss fights are there. It's like main, the entire story is like these two these two guys are known as double dragons and her, their girlfriend gets kidnapped and these are, these have to go and rescue her. Simple. How complicated can it be, eh? Now... Speaking of the graphics, this game history is pretty much old. It's like the uh, you remember the video games which we used to play. Yeah, uh, Double Dragon was that old game which had those kind of graphics. Now this is Double Dragon Neo or Neon. Yeah, Neon. Uh, and the graphics are peaked much higher compared to the other old games. And this game was a classic at its time you could hear everyone saying the name is double dragon uh, these are the power ups which you get like uh, one ups which increase your uh, chance of not dying early one shot oh, okay yeah, I understand due to the Barrel roll, I got that with that. Yeah, and you see the in the left corner, you can see you get songs. These are the songs, means these are the skills which you get in. You need to increase their uh, <coughs> uh, what do you say? Their levels by collecting more and more. Uh, see, I got one more fireball. Yeah, more and more uh, cassettes or tape recorder cassettes which uh, increase their level. Like, and then you need to upgrade them in shops so that you can your damage or damage output becomes more. Or is the skill power becomes more? Yeah, this cokes give you health. I should have taken it when my health was low. Yeah. And ah, uh, see, and then the basic of these games are the 2d games which i'm playing are uh, those are they're not quite famous though but still they have a something that pulls fans all around the world to the play to play them and have a separate fan base for them see like this game it's not world famous like the bigger games like far cry assassin's creed or something but still these have their own fan bases like there are communities there are people who talk about this game still and who enjoy this game like from long back there are even many uh, videos on the internet which you can find of oh my god a big boss battle no this is not an actual boss battle though 
Okay, yeah. This is my skill. I love this dragon. It it does not. It does some quite damage, and it uh, knocks down each and every play. I mean, enemy on the screen. And it's dead. Yeah, but I I can kill him because of my power level is more high. I guess this is one one. I guess there is one two also for this level. Yeah. I I I I not I. Yeah, I didn't finish this game completely. Uh, the last mission is remaining where I need to fight the boss, which will which I want to fight them. Oh, and turns out the entire building becomes a rocket. And here we go. Yeah, the next part is where uh, where the bo boss of this main um, the main main boss of this villain comes in. Uh, this guy first we fight him once here, then we fight him at the end where he becomes stronger like ten times more. Here we can beat him easily because uh, uh, it's like it's like one transition. Like after one after some time after hitting him, we go and finish it off faster. Then he runs away. Yeah. Yeah. See, his name is Skull. We'll come to know eventually. Ah, and that's my girlfriend. I mean, imaginary virtual girlfriend. I like the character design of the boss though. He looks pretty decent. And the sword is pretty good. But his voice acting kind of, kind of lacks what a villain should be having. Yeah. Skull, skull mega down. Yeah. Ouch. Okay, one, two, three, four. Oh, yeah, bat. Bat doesn't do that much damage, but uh, I guess I have a skill where it increases the damage by the player if he has an object or something. Ouch! Ouch! His attacks are pretty linear. Though. You can understand him once you uh, get to know how those work. Like first, he, sh yeah, he comes there, he comes down, and now he starts to attack, and he sends the green thing. See if you keep on doing this thing, understand this thing, easier and easier it is for you to kill the guy. Fast as possible. And I better kill him because I have one health remaining, I guess. I mean one what do you call that? HP, one HP remaining. Here comes the dragon. Doesn't do that much damage, it's not quite sufficient though. But it it actually knocks him down where I can actually hit him. Yeah. Ouch. Easiest way just slide down near him and then beat him. See, and you don't get to fight bosses all the way around. It's like uh, each level has their own set of enemies where uh, there are very variations in them. In some, you can fight bosses, no, mini bosses like uh, zombies, and then in some levels, they offer you like uh, the Chinese witches, which are in a Chinese gown and just teleport from one point of the screen to the other. It was a really tough guy, I had a very bad time doing it. And uh, the level difficulty increases has uh, this gap between uh, the platforms and it makes it, it makes pretty tough for you to even complete a single level in a certain amount of time. And yeah, we defeat the boss, we get those materials. These materials are used to upgrade your level. And he runs off, I guess. Coward. And that's it, I guess level 1 complete. Uh, yeah, <laughs> air guitar, air guitar. I love them. See the these small things in the games are very much which get me. This might be stupid though, but I like them. And stage complete. Yeah, that's all for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you like to watch more gameplay, just comment down below if you want to see more gameplay of this game. Uh, watch it. Yeah, and I recommend you, highly recommend you to play this game with your friends, double player, great time passer. Thanks for watching again. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.